Today, I'm going to show how to charge your mobile phone with induced current, that is, wirelessly. We will need a TV flyback transformer, a car spark plug, and a diode. We need to apply the induced current of the power line to the coil of the flyback transformer through the car spark plug. You can capture the current with the help of an old TV antenna. The spark plug starts to spark. The short electrical pulse passes through the transformer, where the voltage is dropping while the current is rising. If you assembled it right, you will get voltage in the secondary coil of the transformer, approximately as much as is needed to charge a mobile phone. As you can see, there is 10 volt voltage in the primary coil. You need to connect it through a diode. Let us check the voltage of the other coil. It is 14 volts here, and it is too much for a mobile phone. It is even 15 volts here. Just determine which is the most suitable coil. 11 volts seems to be enough. Since a mobile phone requires just 5 volts, we can use such a car charger. It can reduce the voltage, and we will get just what we need, because each power line may generate different voltage. Once everything has been assembled, raise the antenna up in the air. Again, if you assembled it right, your mobile phone will start charging. You need not necessarily capture the power line electric field with an antenna. You could connect the spark plug wire to a human, just make sure that he wears rubber shoes. Your body will capture the electric field and you will be able to charge your mobile phone. If you don't want to spend much time under a power line waiting for a mobile phone to charge, you could capture the electric field with a bicycle. Just connect the spark plug to the handle of your bicycle and leave it there until your mobile phone has charged. There are lots of other ways to charge your mobile phone in the field. I will certainly share them with you in our next videos. Subscribe to the Creasound channel and don't miss out on the most interesting things.